But you guys had a few people asking, can you make Windows 11 look and feel like Windows 10? So that's what we're going to look at today. Now, Microsoft have made it a lot more difficult to actually change a lot of the features in Windows 11 like you used to, like the ribbon and other things like that, because they want you to leave Windows 11 as it is. And this is why they're blocking a lot of programs. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is obviously download the wallpaper for Windows 10 and use that wallpaper because obviously that is what a Windows 10 wallpaper is. So let's go ahead and quickly change that. It still doesn't make it feel or look like Windows 10 because there's still other things that we need to change. So let's go ahead and see if we can do that in this video. But before we do that, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 10 Pro and cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM keys, then check out the links in the video description. Use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply that to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases. Once you submit your order, they will then send you your key. You can activate your version of Windows or you can upgrade from Windows Home Editions uh, to Pro versions. So let's take a look at what we can do next. Now, the next thing we're going to do is change the actual context menu uh, to the right click context menu that Windows 10 has. So to do that, you need to navigate to H key current user software classes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we need to click on this one right here, CLSID. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new key inside CLSID. So let's right click on this uh, CLSID and we're going to create a new key and what we're going to name that key is what you see on the screen you'll just need to paste that in there i'll try and leave that in a video description if i'm allowed to post those brackets because sometimes it gets blocked but we're going to paste that in like so and that should now be done there is applications that let you do this as well to make it a lot more easier you can use a bunch of different applications to change the right click context menu but once we've clicked on the one we've just added here, what we're going to do is add another new key inside the one we've just added. So let's go ahead and do that. And what we need to do here is we need to name this. So let's go ahead and name this right here. And you want to rename that to Improc Server 32, like you can see with the capital letters as well. And once you've done that, you can push the enter key to enter that in. And once you've done that, what you need to do is look on the right hand pane here and you can see there is a value up the top there called default. Double click on it and make sure the value data is set to blank. There's nothing on there. And that's exactly how that is going to be working. So once we restart the PC, we should have the classic context menu added back. OK, let's have a look now at the taskbar settings. There is going to be a couple of things in here, like the search icon. You can hide this or you can have it set to icon only. Turn off task view and widgets, because obviously that's not the same as Windows 10. Also, the alignment you would have to put to the left because that's how it was on Windows 10. And once you've done that, that should be good enough to make it look like Windows 10. And also the task manager here, this is not the same as Windows 10. So the only real thing you can do here to make it more like Windows 10 is to uh, use this default one. So you need to open up the run box here and type T-A-S-K-M-G-R space dash D and push OK. And what this will do, this will give you the standard task manager look here as you can see now there's no way of swapping this out with the windows 11 one but what you can do if it really means a lot to you is to make a shortcut for this and have the shortcut on the desktop or on the taskbar and click on that and it will give you this look rather than having the windows 11 look if it's that if that's what you're trying to do and have it looking like windows 10 so all you need to do here is right click on the desktop go shortcut here and we're going to basically create a shortcut and we're going to give it that command which basically is a T-A-S-K M-G-R and then space dash D and then go next and then you can call it whatever you like uh, just call it task manager if you want to uh, so let's go ahead and do that 
And once you've done this, you click finish. And basically what that's going to do is leave a shortcut onto your desktop called task manager. So when you double click on it, it's going to open up and give you the default task manager. If you wanted that to work like that, obviously you won't have the right click one. It will be the default for Windows 11, but that's the only way you can get around that as far as I know. So we've got that far now. Next is your start menu. Uh, the start menu, you can use a variety of different uh, start menus. Start 11 has one, but it's not free. But there is other ones like um, the open shell, is it? I think, or the old classic shell. It's just been renamed. And there's a bunch of other ones you can use. But this one gives you a Windows 10 style type uh, start menu. It's about five bucks about 4.99 something like that in the uk uh, but again once you get this you will be able to change your start menu to something looking like windows 10 so let's go ahead and i'll quickly show you that for quickness and uh, we'll go ahead and trial the 30 day trial you have to put your email in and once that's done you should be pretty much good to go there you will need to purchase it after 30 days but i'm just going to select the windows 10 style and once we do that, we can then look at uh, the uh, actual start menu. You can make it a bit smaller if you want to, but that will give you the Windows 10 sort of look and feel, just like you had on Windows 10. Again, you can make everything different inside here by changing all of these options. I'm not going to go into that in this video, but you can customize it to your own liking. Now, of course, you would have to go ahead and disable uh, the Copilot because Copilot is not on Windows 10 as far as I know, unless they've added it in at some point. I've not used Windows 10 for a while, but you would have to go into this location to put a registry key inside here to turn it off, or you can do it in the menu system, but this will turn it off completely. And that is H key current user, software policies, and then Microsoft, and then Windows. Right click on the Windows uh, folder right here and create a new key right here. And then you can call this Windows Copilot inside here. Just type that out. And we still need to do other things after that as well. So let's just quickly do the Copilot, Windows Copilot here. And once we've got that done, just push Enter. And now what you need to do is you need to right click on the right hand pane to create a new D Word 32 bit value key. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to add this one in here. Now, again, this is all a lot of work to go into the registry and do this manually. You can do all this with applications. So if you want to see application versions, then let me know in the comments section down below. Just put the key in there and call it Turn Off Windows Copilot. And what you want to do is double click on this and make sure the value is set to zero uh, because that's off. And then you can click OK. And now Copilot should be off. So from here, what you want to do next is deal with the curved corners because you can see on the registry here, it does have rounded corners. And of course, you need to get rid of those because that's not on Windows 10. And you can do that inside here. I'm not sure how important that is really. But if you want it looking like Windows 10, then you can do by turning that off. I think there's an actual file on GitHub you can use, or you can do it inside the registry here by going to H key current user software, then go to Microsoft, then Windows, open this up and go to DWM. And what you'll need to do here is create another key uh, inside here on the right hand side. Create a new D word 32 bit value key. And from here, what you'll need to do is you'll need to type in what you see on the screen right there. I'll leave that in the video description for you. Just copy that in. And once you've got that done, you can push enter and that will need a restart. So once you've done this, you'll be able to restart your PC. If this doesn't work, you can use uh, the GitHub way of doing it as a little command you can put in and it will take the round corners off. But once that's done, make sure that value is set to zero by double clicking on it. You can see it's set to zero by default, so that's fine. And now what we need to do is restart the PC uh, to make these changes 
So let's go ahead and what we'll do is close off the registry editor and we'll go ahead and we'll restart the PC. So let's go ahead and do that right here. So I'm going to restart and there is an update. So I'll do an update and restart. So I'll quickly speed this process up. And again, you can use other methods as well, like Rain Meter and other programs to make Windows 11 look like Windows 10. There's plenty of other options available to do it. But this is if you want a basic look here. You can see the taskbar inside Start 11 here. It lets you change the taskbar to make it a bit more flat, just like Windows uh, 10. And you should have something looking like this, what you see on the screen. Everything looks like Windows 10. And basically, you're pretty much good to go from there. Now, of course, all the menu in the settings here is going to look like Windows 11 because that's what it is. And this is why I find this a little bit pointless. You can see the corners have now gone square instead of round. And basically, that's what you're going to have. And that is really a look and feel of Windows 10, but it is actually Windows 11 and there's not much difference to be honest it is still windows 11 you're still going to have all of the uh, issues that windows 11 has when you update to windows 11 24 h2 so if that's really what you need to do that's how you can do it and have it looking like windows 10 the context menu has now been changed as you can see here if there is a ribbon uh, fix to fix the ribbon let me know in the comments section down below it might help someone i did try a registry hack but it didn't work but you can also use programs like explorer patcher but again this is also getting flagged as malware now because microsoft are making it difficult again and this is what microsoft do they're trying to stop you using applications and programs like these to uh, get the best out of windows 11 because they want you using windows 11 for what it is but this program here is a pretty powerful tool but I've noticed a lot of things have been removed from here as well, which you used to be able to change, like the ribbon and stuff like that. And maybe that's because uh, Microsoft have made it impossible to do that now. I really don't know because I don't do these sort of tweaks on my own system. So is it worth it? It's entirely up to you whether you like the look and feel of Windows 10, but it really is Windows 11 under the hood. You're not really fooling anyone apart from yourself. But if that's what you want to do, I'll leave all of the links and information in the video description. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Link is also in the video description. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.